Welcome to Cisco Live 2022. That's right, we're here physically in person in Las Vegas, but we have not backed off on the full digital experience, so no matter how you're enjoying this, we want to make sure you get everything you need to be effective. I'm in front of the Cisco Showcase, where there is all kinds of great people that are sharing how we can work in a more optimal fashion, work from anywhere, from home, from the office, wherever you need to do to get stuff done. Earlier today, we had a chance to talk with some of the experts to figure out what all it takes in all these different situations to pull off that, mm, that perfect experience. So I want to share that with you, and we'll start with Lauren White in Work From Office. I am excited to be here with distinguished architect, Vanessa. Vanessa, where are we? Lauren, we're actually standing in the work from office environment, and we also have work from home and work from anywhere. And these three immersive interactive environments have been set up to showcase how Cisco can make hybrid work better. So whether you're working from home, whether you're in the office, running a global meeting or event, or you're out and about trying to be productive on the go, WebEx powers your hybrid work. So I'd love to show you how we're now hybrid working at Cisco. Let's go. Lauren, welcome to our newly transformed New York City office, Pen One. Now this is Cisco's first fully POE powered, smart building enabled office. And it's designed to create an environment that will attract and retain our top talent, will maintain their well-being, and give them the ultimate flexible working. I'm super impressed. Can you share more about the technologies that are powering this reimagined workplace, you know, making things more flexible, more sustainable, more visible? Yeah, oh, we've got so many great Cisco technologies here. We've got the Catalyst 9000 switches. We've got Wi-Fi 6E. We've got the Meraki MV cameras, the WebEx devices and the room navigators. We've got PoE and PoE lighting sensors, even PoE powered desks, the WebEx desk hub and the cameras and headsets. And it's all managed by DNA Center, ISE, DNA Spaces and the brand new Cisco Smart Works. Spaces. I have to know more about smart workspaces. Can you tell me more? Oh, I can show you. So this is Cisco Smart Workspaces and this is from our DNA Spaces platform and it integrates our Cisco wired and wireless infrastructure, our Meraki MV cameras and our WebEx devices and creates a real-time visibility dashboard that shows occupancy status, shows uh, temperature, humidity, air quality, space availability for our meeting rooms and our desks and so much more. So the, the first thing I'm thinking, Vanessa, is what organizations could benefit most from something like this? Do you know, every organization with a corporate office can really benefit from the visibility it provides. Their people are looking for information and guidance, and so they'll really welcome the current office status. But their facilities, management and leadership really would love workplace insights in the new workplace cadence, as well as workspace usage. And I know that's something every organization is looking for. Amazing, thank you so much, Vanessa. Now over to Alex at the IT Operations Center. Hey, thanks Lauren, and thank you Vanessa for walking us through all those different hybrid work experiences. Now I'm standing here in the IT Operations Center, which runs right down the center of the Cisco Showcase. And if there was a curtain here, I'd be pulling it back because we're going to be taking a look at all those different Cisco solutions that enable all those hybrid work experiences that Vanessa just shared with us. So I'm standing here with Grant Shirk. He's our head of product marketing at Cisco Meraki. Grant, what can audiences expect to discover here at the IT Operations Center? Thanks, Alex, it's great to be here. Uh, there are over 20 different demos of those platforms that make hybrid work. Everything from full stack observability from the teams at Thousand Eyes and App Dynamics to make sure that absolutely every application you run is as optimized and running at its best. Uh, then you can step back into the world of security and look at both our Cisco Talos, the power of that research organization, as well as the brand new Cisco Plus Secure Connect Now turnkey SASE solution that was just launched last week. 
Uh, but the one that's near and dear to my heart is the cloud management capabilities that we are demoing here, whether it is the core Meraki or the brand new cloud management for Catalyst that we're announcing in the keynote. Oh, awesome. And I'm very much a visual learner. Can you demo that for me on the screen here? Yeah, absolutely. So what you see right here is the Meraki dashboard. And if you haven't seen it lately, it's got a fresh new look. And this is the next generation Meraki dashboard, and we purpose built it for the scale of some of our customers who are running Catalyst at the core. Uh, what you're seeing here is the switch view. Uh, and what is new about this is, unlike the past, where it was only Meraki gear visible in this, uh, you actually have the ability to see those Catalyst 9500s, 9300s that are at the heart of your network. And whether your switch is a thousand feet away, one of the ones running the showcase here, or a thousand miles away, this one happens to be in San Jose at the, at the Tasman campus. Yeah. I have the ability to monitor, inspect, and even do some basic troubleshooting on my infrastructure. It's an incredibly powerful way for people to scale up and adjust their networks. Awesome, thanks Grant for walking us through this. Now up next is the Network Operations Center, also known as the NOC, which is essentially the heartbeat of Cisco Live. So let's now go find out exactly what does it take to deploy, monitor, and secure this live Cisco Live network. Hey Rob, knock, 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 are you there? Who, who's there? Oh, it's Alex with a knock, knock, knock joke. Get it? All right, JW's here, we're in the NOC. I'm so happy to have you here, JW, especially physically again. Tell me a little bit about what we have here. Is this real, first of all? Are these just screens to give us some action, or is this what's actually happening on the show floor? Yeah, no, great, thanks. It's awesome to be back in Vegas. It's been three years since we've done a Cisco Live, so we're super excited to be here. And you're right, a lot of people do think that this is just static equipment on display, but actually at Cisco Live, our network is a live demo. So this is all actually running the network here at Cisco Live. These are live stats. You can see over here on the wireless count, overnight it was a big dip, now we dropped, popped up, we've got almost 10,000 people on this morning and the show floor doesn't even open for an hour, so. Yeah, I love how the graphics can kind of indicate, okay, people are starting to arrive, whether we see them or not, the data says exactly what's happening as people start to connect. Well, let me ask you, for anyone that doesn't understand just how seriously you and your team take this endeavor, what all does the knock encompass in terms of, what are you responsible for, I guess is one way to put it. Sure, yeah, that's all the network for the event, really. I mean, we're, we have all the Mandalay Bay property, just not the exhibit hall and the meeting areas, but we have the breakout rooms upstairs, we have the technical seminars. We have across the street at the Luxor, we have a direct fiber link over there where we have a distribution, we're supporting testing center and some labs. And then we have fiber to the Four Seasons Conference Center as well where we have the press and analysts. Gotcha, so just the last question, I know you guys are constantly kind of upping your game and trying to get better each time as you tweak and the services that you provide for everybody here, including all the vendors, because it's very involved. You get here early, what, what kind of stuff are you doing different now that you think is worth mentioning you know, as you've improved for 2022? No, yeah, that's great. We, and uh, we do get here early, we have a really big team. We get support from all across Cisco, from CX, from the BUs, from sales. And then we also have some partners that support us and we have NetApp in here, We've got Veeam helping us with our backup solution, and Legrand providing uh, this great look for our racks and, and all the fiber. But what we're doing new this year is Lumen has partnered with us to bring in three by 100 gig links. So we actually have a theoretical 320 gig symmetrical uh, out from the venue. Wow, yeah, that's interesting. I, think we for, I forget, because there's so many different things that go on, is that the event is actually a lot of different events that are happening. You're connecting hotels, you're connecting things that happen at different time frames, from education to certainly all the video streaming that we're doing as well. Well, JW, your team has done good. I mean, we're all online. I've heard zero complaints, nothing but good stuff, so thank you so much. Is there any final point you want to make? You know, I'm just glad to be yeah. here, buddy. Okay, I was trying to miss something. <laughs> I thought you were ready to say it. Thank you so much. It's always good to see you. Yeah. But guys, come check out The Knock if you're physically here. If not, there are all kinds of resources online. But with that, let's check back in with Lauren, shall we? Thank you, Rob. I am standing here with Products Marketing Manager, Lisa Waddell. How are you? Can you tell us about how the service provider products hardware and optics work together to make hybrid work work better. Sure, so the service providers are an essential part of the hybrid work ecosystem. They create the network that connects your working from home, working from your car, working from the coffee shop. They build that whole network. Can you tell us about the innovations and service provider Wonderwall? So what we have here at the SP Wonderwall is the Cisco blueprint for service providers. We have a full production environment. 
that Cisco builds. So I want to tell you a minute about why this matters. Cisco's purpose is to build an inclusive future for all. And so what we're doing is changing the economics of the internet to close the digital divide between those that have high-speed internet and those that don't. And we're also helping create networks that are more affordable, better managed, and lower optics. And the question is, how do we do that? We combine the power of optics, silicon, software, and systems. Together, these components are converging different layers to make a fully automated network. We're converging as much as possible in the transport layer, in the automation layer, in the subscriber management layer. And this is changing the economics from a capital perspective to an operational perspective. And we're seeing great results. So some of our new solutions like routed optical networking are bringing our customers lower TCO by as much as 46%. And when they, those that have been in this transformational journey have been better able to respond to the pandemic and the hybrid work models that have come out and all of the connectivity that's needed. So I want to talk a little bit about the Wonderwall here. So we have a full production environment from access, pre-aggregation, aggregation, core, and um, we have along each area the components that you need the optics and the appliances that you need. I really want to tell you about Cisco Silicon One. It's our unified network processor architecture that we built in-house, and it's used in all of our devices. We also have optical optics devices that you can see here at the Wonderwall. We've also integrated all the pieces of cloud and data centers that service providers need because they are now providing 5G, and value-added services like the Internet of Things. Of course, we provide automation and security across the entire production environment. And finally, what's important is that we are helping with segment routing so that um, the service providers can do network slicing, which means they can add value-added services like SD-WAN and private 5G. So this is the full live environment. We also have a digital environment where you can go through everything we've talked about and get details. Wow, well thank you so much for that, Lisa. Now we are going to check in with Alex over at the hybrid cloud area. Thanks, Lauren. And one of the things we're most excited about here at Cisco Live is the launch of our Cisco Nexus 9808 switch. It's located over here in the hybrid cloud area. And I'm standing here next to Gerald Richard, who is our product manager of the Nexus portfolio. Gerald, who, who exactly is this switch for? Hi, thank you. Um, so this is the Nexus 9800. So this switch is designed and positioned for all our current customers, um, especially large enterprises, large financial customers, or cloud service providers, and any kind of data center operators. Uh, so along with the chassis, we are also introducing a new 400 gig line card. It's a 36 port 400 gig line card that pretty much doubles the port density and capacity compared to the Nexus 9500. So all the ports are QSOP DD based, so which means you do get backwards compatibility with 100 gig and 40 gig uh, for QSOP Plus and QSOP 28. Um, in addition to the line cards, being a modular chassis, we have dual supervisors that offer supervisor redundancy. And then to power the chassis, to provide capacity, we have fabric modules at the back, up to eight fabric modules that give almost 14.4 terabits per slot. Um, in addition to that, from a functional standpoint, the line cards support MaxSec, so you can get line rate MaxSec across all ports at all speeds as well. And similar to the rest of the Nexus 9000 portfolio, the 9800 also supports ACI and NXOS. Awesome, I mean, this sounds like a very powerful machine. It is. But how well would you say it would fare underwater? Not good at all. Not good, that's Not what good. I thought. Well, you might be surprised by this next device. Lauren is standing by the IoT wall. Lauren, what you got for us over there? Now, I am here with Matt Bolick, Director of Technical Marketing Engineering at Cisco. And Matt, I got
got to understand what's going on here. My eight and a half years at Cisco, I have never seen an access point of water. And I don't think Cisco's in the fish business, right? Well, you so know, you know Lauren, all of the customers and all of the aquariums that are out there that need to provide connectivity to their aquariums, we got you covered. <laughs> For everybody else, this is just an example of the ruggedness that's built into our access points, into a lot of our IoT, into a lot of our industrial products. So this specifically is the new Catalyst IW9167E access point. It's a mouthful, but the main thing to take away from that is that this is our first outdoor rugged Wi-Fi 6E access point. It's really cool because that means it can take advantage of all the additional capabilities in 6E. It can move up to the 6 gigahertz spectrums as the different regulatory bodies turn that on and everything works great with that. So it's a really pretty awesome access point. You'll, you'll start seeing it outdoors in lots of places that need connectivity outdoors. This is just an example of how it can take dust, heat, humidity, rain, storms, hail, whatever you want to throw at it, this can take it. Thank you, Matt. Now over to Rob from the fishbowl to the bakery. All right, Lauren, thank you so much. I'm over here in a different part of the Cisco Showcase. And whenever I'm lost, I always try to find Scott Newman because he always helps me dig out of the uh, wherever I happen to be. So Scott, thank you so much for always uh, being there to help me. Where are we and, and, and what is this space? Are we at the beginning or are we at the end of this journey? Right, we're at the beginning, Rob. And we are here in our work anywhere environment. In this case, it's a bakery here at Cisco Live. And in this bakery, you'll find the latest and greatest solutions for hybrid work. Stuff from WebEx, our software solutions from WebEx. We've got our Meraki Wi-Fi 6E for that great connectivity in public spaces. And of course, we're securing it all with Cisco security solutions. But no matter what industry you're from, no matter where work from is for you, whether it's an open pit mine, an airport, your mother-in-law's house, or here in our bakery, yep. Cisco has the solutions that enable you to work productively, collaboratively, and of course, securely from anywhere. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate all the hard work you guys have put into making this feel like home, no matter where home might be. Uh, but let me, if you can't be physically here, how do we get to more resources? What's available even after the show, perhaps? Great, so visit our digital showcase, okay. which is at ciscolive.com, and it's running through the end of June. And there you can find all of these hybrid work solutions that we've been talking about and showing you today. And of course, our on-demand library is always available 24 seven at ciscolive.com. That's perfect, so a lot of good stuff. Scott, thank you so much, appreciate your time. Guys, obviously here, if you get a chance to make it to the Cisco Showcase, there's all kinds of great information to be put in the form in which you can readily understand it and go to as far down as you want to go. But the point is that there are a lot of resources available for connected learning. Go online, access your resources, access live resources, curated videos, all kinds of great stuff to learn as we move forward. There's no excuse for not being aware this team has been working extremely hard. My name is Rob Boyd, thanks for joining us in the Cisco Showcase. We'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.